welcome to the Tonight Show. Oh my God! Thank you for having me. I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm so. What do you? We are so psyched that you're here. Are you kidding me? Uh, you're fantastic. I, yeah, I want to tell uh, everyone your your story uh, if they don't know your story. Okay. Uh, you were you were born in Vietnam. Yes, I was. And then you were adopted uh, uh, by an American family. And yes. Then, and where did you grow up? I grew up. I grew up everywhere. I'm like a nomad. So. My parents brought me to Chicago and then to Washington State, where I lived on Woodby Island, which I don't know if you're familiar with it, but Woodby oh, no. Island is a farm island. Now, Woodby Island. Woodby Island, yes. It's a farm island? Yes. As in, it would be a farm if it were not on an island? There you go. All no, right, very nice. No, uh, <laughs> so it was a farm island? What does that mean? Yeah, well, it was just I grew up with a bunch of horses, and I grew up um, oh, okay. with animals, and just, it's like we're, we're all hippies on the island. And so now whenever I go back, they're like, how did you, from here to, now you're doing this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. How did you do that? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I think I just got really lucky. No. But... You worked hard. Well, when did you, how did you get into acting? Um, well, I was a dancer for the most of my childhood, and then one day I realized, like, my dad put me into a drama class, and I realized, like, oh, I can entertain people, like, with my words, and not just, like, moving around. Yeah. Um, which was a uh, uh, mind-blowing. That's <laughs> great. That's good supportive parents. Yeah, really, really supportive. And well, let's just talk about just last year, because I think, like, because uh, I, I knew of you, but to all the boys I've loved before, was a smash, a giant <laughs> hit thing, phenomenon, it still is, <laughs> this giant, growing, massive thing. Yeah. Did life just change for you overnight with Netflix? And it did. It really did. We um, premiered the show, and then I woke up the next morning, and my phone was just, like, blowing up. Wow. And I, I checked on my Instagram, and there was, like, millions of followers. And in my head, I can only think of that is one million human beings just lined up in a row, holding hands <laughs> holding, around the world. Holding hands like, around the world. And, like, that's all I can think of in my mind, and it was a crazy. great thing you think about. Yeah, of yeah. course. And Noah Centineo. Yeah. You guys, I mean, hit it off. You guys had great uh, chemistry. Yeah. But you said you said you set early boundaries with Noah. I did. We had just come back from my hot yoga class, and we went to his apartment, and we ordered pizza. Oh. And it's kind of like. Like, oh, hot yoga, pizza, what's happening? It was right before we shot the movie. Just trying to get to know each other? Just getting to know each other. And did you feel something? And I felt something. And then so we went like this, and I looked at him, and I was like, Noah, it's not going to happen between us. Really? Yeah, and because I felt that for the show to do well, we had to be best friend professionals. And so I was like, it's just not going to happen. And he's like, yeah. It's not gonna happen. And I was like, great. So we kind of did what we did in To All the Boys the movie. We kind of like made a contract and set boundaries. And then from, I'm so happy that we did that because the movie turned out great. And now we're doing a sequel. So I have to work with him again. So imagine. Wait, so, so but you think you still might have that spark? We still have the spark. Yeah, absolutely. I just, we were just on the phone the other day. Just what? talking about the sequel. Okay. Just saying, you guys are on the phone. And, uh, <laughs> No, but, but I mean, yeah, the, the, book, it, the books are, there's three of them, is that correct? Yeah. So if the sequel does well, then you do the third one. That would be amazing. Then yeah. after the third one, you really fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I want to talk about your, uh, uh, this new show on sci-fi. Yes. Uh, Deadly Class. I think it's a brilliant idea. Uh -huh. uh, do you want to explain what it's about? Yeah, so Deadly Class is basically, it's based off of the graphic novel, um, Deadly Class, written by Rick Remender, and it's basically about a academy that has um, all of the children of various gangs and syndicates, all the children, go to that academy. Yeah, like assassins, children of assassins. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and so we just kind of Definitely learned. different from To All the Boys. <laughs> yes, yes. No, Lara Jean would, she wouldn't make it. She no. She wouldn't make it at King's Dominion. It's action-packed. And yeah. this uh, the Russo brothers? Yeah, the Russo brothers. Who did um, Captain America films. And of course. And they, they're amazing because they are making our show so action-packed and the choreography and the fighting is very, very realistic and amazing. So they're really supportive of it and they've been working really hard on our, hard on our show and I'm really excited for it to come out. It's coming out on the, January 16th. So. On Sci-Fi, we're on all gonna watch. Yeah. Hey, love you, pal. Come back, okay? And thank you for doing that sketch. And oh, yeah, I want to show everyone a clip. Oh, okay. Here's Lana Condor in the new action series, Deadly Class. Yeah. It premieres Wednesday at 10 p.m. on Sci-Fi. Check this out.
Our thanks to Lana Condor. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.